something massive just shook the AI world in one. And it didn't come from OpenAI or Google. A small startup in Singapore just released a new AI agent called HRM. And it might be the biggest leap in reasoning we've seen in years. It's not bigger. It's not trained on more data. It's just built differently. And somehow this brain-inspired model is outsmarting models four times its size. Models like ChatGPT solve problems step by step. But one small mistake can ruin everything. HRM doesn't follow that path. It thinks in loops like the human brain, and the results are stunning. Now this isn't just another tiny model beats GPT story. This one actually holds up. HRM is not a scaled down large language model. It's not a stripped transformer, and it's definitely not a slimmed down GPT clone. It's something entirely new. It mimics the brain, not in the vague neural network sense, but by borrowing the brain's actual decision-making layers. Somehow, with just 27 million parameters, HRM is outperforming models with over 100 million, even billions. For comparison, GPT-1 had 117 million parameters. HRM, just 27. And yet, it beats Claude 3.7 and OpenAI's 03 Mini High on reasoning benchmarks. Most modern AI uses chain of thought prompting, basically thinking through problems step by step. But one mistake in the chain and the answer collapses. HRM skips the chain. It plans, it executes, it thinks more like a human. So how does it work? It has two parts, a high level planner and a low level worker. The planner maps out the problem. The worker executes, then the planner adjusts and they loop again and again until the model settles on the right answer. This isn't a prompt trick. It's hard-coded into the architecture, and it gives HRM the ability to revise its reasoning mid-process. Let's talk results. On the AIRCAGI benchmark, think of it as an iCloud test for AI. Claude 3.7 scored 21%. OpenAI's model scored 34%. HRM scored 40.3%. That's a massive leap. Sudoku, hard and extreme levels. Claude and open. AI, 0%. HRM, solved 55%. Maze challenges, 30 by 30 grids. HRM found the optimal path 75% of the time. The others, zero. And here's the kicker. HRM was trained on just 1,000 examples per task. No massive data sets, no internet scraping, just architecture. Guan Wang, one of the minds behind HRM, said, you can train it to pro-level Sudoku in two GPU hours. Two hours? That's not just efficient, that's ridiculous. But this isn't just about benchmarks. Transformer-based models like GPT or Claude use the same amount of compute for every token, no matter how hard the question is. They don't know when to think longer, they don't revise, they don't reflect. It's like solving a math problem by writing down one number at a time, in pen, without ever checking your work. HRM breaks that limitation. Its two-level architecture adapts its reasoning to match the task. There's even a version of HRM that uses reinforcement learning to decide how many loops to run. Simple task, fewer loops, hard task, more. It's the closest we've seen to truly flexible thinking in a machine. And HRM avoids one of AI's biggest problems, backpropagation through time. Most models need to keep track of long chains of memory and gradients. It's expensive, slow, and likely not how brains work. HRM uses local gradient updates, faster, more efficient, and more biologically plausible. In practice, that matters. You can run HRM on a laptop, or even deploy it on edge devices and robots. That's exactly what Sapien is doing. They're testing HRM in healthcare, diagnosing rare diseases, and in climate forecasting, where it hit 97% accuracy. The team behind it includes engineers from DeepMind, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and even Elon Musk's XAI. These are top-tier minds in AI, 
and they're betting everything on this architecture. Guan Wang put it like this, AGI is about giving machines human level intelligence and eventually beyond. Chain of thought prompting is just a shortcut. What we've built is something that can think. And so far, the results are backing it up. Even better, like the entire project is open source. You can find it on GitHub right now, train your own version, explore it, see how it works. That level of transparency is almost unheard of. Now, is HRM perfect? Number, it's not a chatbot. It won't write poems or summarize your inbox. It's designed to reason. And at that, it's the strongest proof of concept we've seen yet. And HRM isn't alone. Sakana is working on continuous thought machines. Google is exploring diffusion-based reasoning, and some labs are building LLMs that run on just one bit weights. This is a shift away from scale everything toward think differently. But the difference is HRM is already working. And unless someone throws billions into a new foundation model, the next AI leap probably won't be GPT-5. It'll be something like this, smaller, smarter, faster, more efficient. HRM might be the beginning of AI agents that don't live in data centers. But in your laptop, your robot, even your car. And they won't just be predicting tokens, they'll be thinking. What do you think? Is this what AGI actually looks like? Let me know. Thanks for listening. Catch you in the next one.